Hello everyone and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Now after playing Sister Location, I looked back and noticed I have only beaten one game in the entire Five Nights at Freddy's series, which is this one. So what I want to do is play every single game from this one to the fourth, getting every single star, and in case of the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, I'm gonna do every single uh, well, challenge. That's where it is. Up. So let's start with this new game. Help wanted. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Family Pizzeria. Mm hmm. Thank you for the time. So I've already beaten this full 420 mode, and I've beaten the five nights of every single game. I did some changes of the second. I don't know how far I got on the third. I know I beat it the first five nights. I don't know if I beat the second six night. And I have not even started Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and that's mainly why I want to do this. Now I don't know why there's like this filter here. You see there in the desk. Hi. Sister Location will not be the last game from Scott. And everything that Scott does inside this universe has importance we, with each other. So, the thing is, uh, yeah. Uh, the next game will 
relate through the games 1 to 4, as well as Sister Location, as well as the book, and FNAF World. I didn't. I never played FNAF World. I don't have it. It wasn't Steam. It's not on there anymore. I have to get it from Game Jolt, I think. The the book. I have not read it. I might read it afterwards. It seems like a good read. However, I was told that many people leave it right in the middle because it's too complex or they get bored or whatever. But I might as well give it a try. I really like the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. So, okay, let the game begin. I, as I said, I beat twenty 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 mode. Twenty 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 mode for twenties. Uh, however, I think the first night are kind of the hardest because of the power problems. The animatronics are the less are less active the first night, so if they're capable of reaching this door area, and I closed it, uh, they will remain there for a long period of time because they're less active, so they move less. On future nights, they appear there, you close the door, they go away. It, uh, not instantly, but after a few seconds. It's 3 a.m. And that's why I believe the second night, which they actually kind of move more and they're able to reach the doors faster, I think the second night is one of the hardest because of this energy problem, and after the second one, it becomes more of a problem of skill and your own speed of actually closing doors, checking on Foxy here. Where did. Whoa, sir! Freddy, I thought you didn't move until night like three. That's when you started looking at the camera. Chica's there. Okay, where the hell is Bonnie? Oh, there you are, Bonnie. I'm gonna get the mic closer. Uh, Bonnie, this is not funny. Turn back on the cameras. You're not there. You're there. God, fuck you. Freddy moved again. I never saw Freddy in the first night move. I'm trying to hear him move. Chica moved. Nothing, guys. Five AM. I can simply like close every single door and win. Right, guys. To avoid screwing up already. They're not moving. They did not appear. Well, that's one of the things I believe the second night is the hardest, not the first one, because sometimes they never actually reach the door, which makes it super easy. Uh, the first night is not a bit, it's not hard at all. So it's not even between the hardest night. It would be like, uh, well, three, four, five, no. <laughs> I think two or three are the hardest nights, even though for in, resp blah, 
I think the second and the third night and the hardest one, if it's your first time playing. Because they become a little bit more aggressive, but not aggressive enough to stop annoying you. And then when you beat the third night, you kind of get the hang of it. So the fourth night is quite straightforward. Okay. And then the fifth night is kind of a pain. The sixth night is the pain. And 2020, 2020 mode is just... It's not hard. I'm gonna admit, it's not hard. It's a lot of practice, which I'll show what I did to beat it the first time. I'll see what I did. Um, and it's not about the strategy of beating it, it's what comes before the strategy, how you practice for it. So, on that episode, we'll show you how to beat 20, 20, 20, 20 mode, which be an individual episode because I will show you how. I prepare for it. I'll explain more, but basically is to put yourself in every single scenario before that. So you want to have first beat a chica in 20 mode, then beat Bonnie in 20 mode. Whoa, you're here already. Sorry, then beat Chica and Bonnie in 2020 mode. Then infiltrate uh, Freddy in there, but not Foxy. Foxy is uh, don't put it in there. Then you kind of just I don't know play only with uh, Foxy. Foxy in 20 mode, and everyone else in. Zero or one, I don't remember which was the uh, the minimum. And once you beat Foxy, you're kind of all set because you already beat all the other three together. And with a final strategy, it, you just know what to do. So I'll, I'll explain more on that episode, but. Chica, I know you moved. Oh, you didn't move. Okay, I'm, come out of the closet, Bonnie. Come on. I'll boop you. I have to hear footsteps. moving. That's good, I guess. My food day. My day. My food day. My food day. What's the food day? not moving at all. Okay. Why are you being such a pain and you didn't just don't appear and then leave? Please leave. Or night two, I mean, uh, Foxy activates on night two, right? I'll just look at her from now and then. Excuse me? I heard you. Okay. 3 a.m., we're halfway through. Right here. 
you're still back there without giving a fuck about life. Moving. Please let me use the cameras. Okay, that happened. Crystal there. Bonnie mostly comes back there to the uh to his hiding spot on the closet. So I'm just gonna leave the camera there. And well, he's not there. Where the hell is he? Oh, Chica's out. Bonnie probably is right there with her. Well, they all moved, so yeah. They're moving again. So I'm gonna check this. Bonnie is there, Chica's there. What the hell is going on with your face, Chica? Oh, it's the filter that just rises some of the. Uh, well, not only rises, but also lowers, as you can see there in the desk, lowers some of the uh, designs. No, oh, Chica's coming near. Oh, they want to grab me. It's almost 5 a.m. anyways. Fuck you. <laughs> what? I forgot about that. Where the hell did Bonnie go? Okay, so you're back there. I heard footsteps. You're here. Look at me like nobody gives a shit. back there. Chica's right here. So yeah I think I actually beat it second night. Which is not as hard as I remember it actually. I might have a saturated a bit about second night. I don't remember it correctly or something. Bonnie is there. Because here on, she got yay, 6 a.m. Yay! Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave this episode here. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.